Let's go ahead and cat smile, type it to sprite dot or sprite to BMP. And it says it generated it. Let's go ahead and pull this file open here and look at this. It worked. It worked. How amazing is that? We can generate pixel art using Bash. How crazy is that? There's no limit to the number of characters here. We have O and we have what period? We could have any number of characters be any color. We can have colors be calculated. We could pull colors out of a palette. There are so many options here. It's actually kind of nuts. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add a palette to this. I think it'd be kind of fun to add a palette. So I pulled this up here. This is just a palette I found online. It's for the Nintendo Game Boy. As you can see, there are four different colors here. We have these different colors and they're all in hex and then it nicely gives us their beautiful little RGB values. How fantastic is that? So we can just take these and use these colors. Let's go ahead and make our own file format for palettes. This way we can easily customize it without hard coding colors into our script. So let's say palette.txt and this will be just a basic text format where we can say the, um, the character that we want. So in this case, it would be a period and then a space. And then let's give it the color that we want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and grab these. Um, you can't see this, but I'm just grabbing it from that website I showed you. And there we go. I changed the O to a one, two, and three. So we have a period, a one, a two, and a three. And then we have the hex value for the color that it should be. That's super great. Let's go ahead and add some logic to our sprite to BMP file to actually load that palette in. So let's do this. Let's add P and P will be palette and palette will be opt arg. 